Hello and welcome to That's The Point. And where else can you learn more about the finer minutia of construction technology? Uh, we would posit that it's nowhere, we think. But anyways, my name is Corey Meyer, here with my buddy Gian Lopez. What's up, man? Hey, man, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Uh, we're doing good. And since you're here, it's safe to say that we are talking about some in-depth topics. And that's actually one that comes up quite often around the support desk. And it's surrounding the positioning gear and specifically calibrations. Um, now, Gian, your day-to-day -day is, is part of that day is spent actually running the service center for, for the building point here. This is something that you literally deal with every day. Oh, short answer is, is yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so, so one of the most common questions we get, and we want to address it here, was is the annual, is that scheduled total station calibration actually necessary? You know, there are checks that we can do in the field. There's some TTP videos that we're going to have coming out in the future that talk about HAVA collimation in the field, do those field checks. But really, at the end of the day, those are just checks, right? Those are all checks, so they're not really any sort of adjustment like an actual calibration or preventative maintenance that you do once a year. So I know that they have a list out here. I know it's kind of long, but let's see if we can put yeah, it let's, up on let's, the screen. Let's go to the guys in the truck. Let's see if we can roll that. And as, as it's coming up on the screen now, I mean, it's, it's a long list. And to be honest, I don't know what any of this means. Well, good thing you have me here, man. Yeah, you got job security. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially a service calibration. We have three things in mind that we always are trying to accomplish. So these three goals. The first benefit that you're getting out of a calibration is that we are checking the EDM. So when you look through the center of the scope on your equipment, we're making sure that all the lasers are lined up in the very center so you're always shooting an accurate shot. The second benefit is you're actually checking that the tool compensator, which is the leveling system that detects how out of level your equipment is, it will essentially make a correction for the reference angle. So say you're leaning an inch and a half in one direction, it'll adjust an inch and a half the laser and in the opposite direction. And that's so important on the Trimble workflow because we the, the RTS having that tilt compensation is a huge advantage for setups, but you gotta make sure it's right before you Always. can really take advantage of that. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. And then the third benefit that you're getting out of the calibration is that we are checking that the tracker is actually lined up on the prism itself. So we manually have to make an adjustment so that when you are taking a shot at a prism, it actually tracks it and follows it. And it's not actually shooting out in the wind or it's catching something else that it thinks is a prism. Right, so these things can not truly be accomplished in the field, right? We, we, can, we can identify them through some field checks. We can start to understand, like maybe the, the system took a knock or something. We can start to look at that, but no adjustments are being made. And that's why everything on this long list, we then come back to in the shop to, to be able to accomplish those three goals and actually adjust the gun back to factory tolerance. Yes, back to factory spec. Gian, that's exactly why I had to bring you in today because you know I'm woefully out of my depth when it comes to this stuff. Um, and I appreciate <laughs> you taking the time to sit down and talk about something that really is an important aspect of protecting that technology investment. So thanks, man, you survived. Oh, well, thank you. Now I, I can let you get to back here. to the service center. Oh, I got more guns to work on, <laughs> job security, right? <laughs> As always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the tips, tricks, and pointers that we post here at That's The Point. John, once again, man, you're the man. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you. Ah, no problem. So, Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's The Point.